Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Excel users. I've received a question about sorting data and the question is can you sort by colour rather than cell content? And if you have Excel 2007, Excel 2010 or Excel 2013 the answer is yes you can. And I'm going to go through a few examples here of how you might go about doing that. Now you'll see here in this income column I've already got a couple of cells highlighted and that's because I have conditional formatting applied here. And what I'm going to do is apply some more conditional formatting to this column. So having selected the cells there, just come across to the conditional formatting drop down on the Home tab. And I'm going to come down to where it says Icon Sets and simply select the first option there, the three different coloured arrows. And you'll see when I select it and just click away You'll see the impact it's had on the data. I've got green arrows for high values, red arrows for low values, and yellow arrows for mid values. Now in this example, let's say I want to sort my data so the green arrows are at the top and the red ones are at the bottom. And to do that, I'm just going to click anywhere at all in that table, go to the Data tab, and click on the Sort button. Now when I do that, you'll see we get a dialog box, a sort dialog box appear and Excel has automatically detected my table of data. Very important to note this little tick box here, my data has headers. If you look at the table and I take the tick away, you'll see Excel has selected the column headers, the titles of each column of data. And I certainly don't want that to be included in my sort. So make sure there is a check in that box if you have titles at the top of your data columns, which typically you would have. And next I'm going to come over to where it says sort by, at the moment it says title. I'm going to click on the drop down and choose income because that's the column where my sorting will occur. Now in the sort on drop down, at the moment it has values, but if I click on the drop down there, I've got cell color, font color and cell icon. Now I'm going to choose cell icon for this example. And you'll see I have a drop down here, it's got the yellow arrow at the moment. I'm going to click the drop down there, choose the green arrow. And the final option is to say on top or on bottom. I'm simply going to have that as on top. I'm now going to add a level of data and I'm going to choose the same column for the sorting option. Again, click the drop down in the values option, choose cell icon. Click the drop down for the order and choose the red arrow and on the drop down this time I might choose on the bottom. Now if I wanted to add a third level of source I could do and a nice handy thing is to actually copy the level there. And what that does it obviously duplicates the previous one and in this case I would only have to change maybe the last two options as opposed to all four. If I've added something that I want to remove it's simply a case of making sure it's highlighted and then click delete level. So just for now, I'll leave the green and the red rules applied. Click OK, and you'll see what's happened. Excel has put my green arrows at the top and the red arrows at the bottom, and it hasn't really done very much with the yellow arrows because it didn't need to. They just sit in the middle as they normally would do. Now, one peculiar thing you'll notice is that although the lowest value is at the bottom, the highest value hasn't actually gone to the top. So when you're sorting by colours, it won't necessarily take into account the values in the cell. Now in this particular case, I can add another rule. So if I just click in the table again, go back to the sort option. And if I add a level here, you'll see I have a new option. And here again, I'm going to choose the income option. This time, instead of cell icon, I'm going to choose cell colour. And at the moment, no cell color selected. I'm going to choose the green, because that's my high value, and leave on top. So what will happen is it will put the green arrows on top, then it'll put the red arrows at the bottom, and the final rule, any cell background color with light green will go to the top of the arrow set. So just click OK, and again there you'll see that the rule is applied, and so we now have the high value at the top in the bunch of green arrows and uh, nothing changes down the bottom. I could also add a further rule to make sure that this yellow value, the low value, goes to the bottom, but just for now I'll leave that. Now you don't have to use conditional formatting, so I can simply apply standard colour formatting. If I come back to the Home tab, let's just say I click on a couple of the movies here, or maybe three of them, and class those as premium titles, and I just apply that light green shading there. 
I can then again click in the table, go to the data tab again, choose the sort option, and I'm going to actually get rid of all the existing sort options. So I'm simply going to click the delete level until they've all gone. Add a new level on the sort by option. I'm going to choose title. Instead of sort on values, I'm going to choose cell color. And I've only got one cell color there, so I'll just choose that one. And on top is fine, click OK. And again, you'll see that Excel has moved the shaded items to the top of the column there. And I'll show you one more example where color sorting might be useful. Now here we have a list of Fred's customers and also a list of the movie genres these customers enjoy. So you'll see there's a mix there of horror, action, comedy, etc. And in this example, let's say Fred would like to have all the customers that like action movies at the top of the list. So how would he go about doing that? The first thing he would need to do is make sure that the people that are interested in action movies are in some way highlighted. Because as you can see in the first entry, the action genre is at the end of the list. And in the second cell, it's at the beginning. The third one, it's at the end and so on. So we can't simply sort alphabetically. And the solution is to apply a bit of conditional formatting first of all. So we're going to select those cells with the genre labels, click on the conditional formatting option, choose new rule. And in the second option there, I'm going to select formats only cells that contain. Just move the dialog across there. And in the drop down, the first option, I'm going to choose specific text. Uh, leave containing as it is. Click in the entry box and type in action. Click the format button. Uh, well, yeah, fill is the tab I want. Let's choose that light blue for now. Click OK. Click OK on the conditional format. Just click away. And again, you'll see there all the cells containing action are highlighted. It's then a simple matter of clicking anywhere in the table. Go to the data menu. Click sort. When the dialog pops up, we're going to sort by likes sort on cell color there is only one cell color to choose from again not too complicated and again make sure on top is highlighted remember the tick in the data has headers if you put titles at the top of your columns click ok and there are all my action movie fans at the top of the list so there's a few examples of how you might use sorting on color you can sort on background color you can sort on text color and you can sort on conditional formatting icons as well. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found something useful there and you can apply it to the spreadsheets that you're working on. And I'll see you next time.